all around the world we see that there is increasing money being spent on technology and education. There is lots of optimism that that will lead to increasing impact on student learning outcomes and stronger education systems. And we're seeing examples of where that is happening around the world. But there's not yet significant evidence of what works, for whom, in what specific context. And so the EdTech Hub exists to ensure that the potential of EdTech is really realised and that the millions of children around the world who are not learning in and out of school can actually have the potential for a better education, better learning outcomes through technology. And that requires improving the way that education technology is actually used. At the EdTech Hub, we think the most effective way to do that is by promoting evidence, by ensuring that every decision in education technology is made with evidence at the heart. What will work, and why it will work, who it will work for, in what context. So we exist to make sure that research is being done, that we can understand answers to the critical questions in education technology, but then to also ensure that that evidence is being used for decision making. So Kenya is fortunate to have the majority of the portfolio of research that EdTech Hub has invested in. We work with partners um, and local researchers. We have two studies on digital personalized learning. IDO is a digital program that exposes learners to digital content, which is rich not just from uh, the local that is in Kenya, but also globally. So learners get to be exposed in uh, knowledge, in competency, in information that enriches them. The, the biggest lesson that we are uh, learning is that uh, devices, if used effectively and in the right way, it can really aid in improving like the two main subject areas that we are we are implementing that is in mathematics and in English. So if it is used effectively, then it's going to be one of the most powerful tools in helping to increase learning outcome. I do is about digitized personalized learning where the children are using the phone to carry out exercises that are given by the teacher. So instead of doing these exercises in their exercise books, some of the children get an opportunity to do these exercises using the phone because the phone has got digitized material that has been borrowed from the Tayari lesson plan. In Tayari, we have uh, lesson plans which are CBC aligned and so you find teachers in Muranga are uh, able to get access to this lesson plan so they have a structured way of delivering the CBC uh, yet also including their own experiences. We are also investigating how to use participation and messaging to engage parents and caregivers and I think that's particularly useful for Kenya because part of our pillars of the competency-based framework is parental engagement and so how do we leverage technology to reach parents and ensure that they're working alongside um, the teachers and the school to ensure that their children are learning. We appreciate the diversity of technology tools that can be leveraged for learning and so we look at improving literacy, social emotional learning and gender attitudes for early child learning through edutainment. We're doing this study with Busara. So we understand the challenges that come with technology and are exploring how low-tech personalized learning can improve girls' education in Kenya. We're learning and we know that focusing on girls' education through SMS is vital to ensure that the renewed interest in SMS for education in low- and middle-income countries does not lead to further inequality in education. We are having uh, more than uh, 80 children who are uh, in the MSHULE platform and they are performing excellently. Uh, that is in subjects such as English, mathematics, and currently uh, MSHULE has started uh, working on science and we are seeing 
better performance in science. I mean, grade six, I've been using Mshule for five months. It's quite easy and it helps me learn a lot and it helps me to prepare for my examinations. Mshule has helped me in learning a lot in science. First, I was finding it very difficult until Mshule came and then I started learning. I've learned English and science, but I've never tried math. I've been using Mshule back at home and I've been doing it with my parents and my siblings. So far, I've not faced any challenges. It's more fun doing it with my siblings because if I don't know some questions, they can help me. And it also helps them. Lastly, we seek to expand an emerging evidence base on three widely accessible remote learning strategies. Simple SMS messages, short instructional phone calls, and radio and television programming. I really appreciate that we have passionate partners who share our vision and who are also on the ground doing you know, the really important work of implementing edtech solutions. I think what I would say we have learned is the power of collaboration really makes um, evidence uptake you know, more acceptable. The fact that we're working with partners makes the work that we do, it kind of legitimizes the research that we're doing and that has been really, really useful to understand. The other thing is that our partners are also our linkages a lot of the times to key decision makers. And so we're able to come together, not just to do the work, but also to understand and figure out together how to disseminate the evidence and make sure that it reaches the right hands. At the heart of the hub's future is the integrated approach. What that means is that we believe that the best way evidence can be used to influence decision making and ensure a high impact future for EdTech is by adopting the integrated approach. So for the EdTech hub, the future is around building, all, building on all that we have learned over the last few years and ensuring that all of our work is focused on addressing key priority technical questions through the use of our tools, sandboxes, design-based research, experimental studies, help desk requests, technical assistance to drive forward both knowledge and the use of that knowledge around those questions.